Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stassi. Thank you so much for being here today. I am very excited. Guys, it's new expansion pack day. We got a new expansion pack. I can't believe it. It's been three this year. And I and to be honest with you, I think they saved the best for last. And I'm really excited to get into this podcast today. And not only did I, am I excited to talk about it? I have three of the best simmers here to talk about uh, the new expansion pack. So thank you, you guys so much for coming. Of course. Happy to be here. <gasps> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Let's take it off with a quick round of introductions. Gons, you go first. Absolutely. Uh, my name is Gons. I am a Sims content creator and lore nerd. Um, I love to talk all things townies, lore, story, and just general goofball on the internet. I love that. Disney, <laughs> welcome back for the 31st time. Oh, you counted. I counted, yes. How much is Nard at? I think like 18 or 19. Okay, cool. So, no competition yet. We're good. All right. So, I am Court, aka the Disney Sims, aka Towny Tales, a little introductory autobiography of me, Courtney. Um, been a simmer since it existed. Love everything that Gons loves, apparently. And, um, yeah, I am happy to be here. Excited to talk about the pack because I've since I am best friends with an EA creator, I uh, <laughs> got to see firsthand everything that is going on in there. And yeah, pumped to talk about it. I love that. Well, last but certainly not least, Jannard. Hey. Hey, what's happening? I My appreciate- name is... Uh... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I was going to say my name is Nard Villain and uh, I do all things Sims 4 as well. All about that lore. Just kidding. Uh, I usually do the skits. Um, I do a little uh, tips and tricks here and there, you know, do my little build challenges. So anytime you want to laugh, you hit me up. That's for sure. I love this. Well, Gons, take us away. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I think that the, there's two main aspects of uh, The Sims 4 for rent that we need to chat about. And I think the most important one is going to be Tomerang itself, right? So... Uh, what I loved, right, is that when you actually, so the, we have the little, like, the little pop-up of Tomerang, and it actually has, like, some, like, expansive lore already in this little blurb. So it mentions the she C, which I don't think I, we've ever heard about in, in The Sims as far as I'm aware, right? Um, and it it apparently, it just mentions a little bit about it, right? It mentions how they have tight-knit communities, um, like a nature vibe, and really, that's the vibe we get when we look at Tomerang. So Tomerang is inspired uh, inspired by like Southeast Asia uh, as a whole, right? It's a very lush, beautiful uh, environment uh, within uh, Tomerang itself. Uh, imagine like a little coastal village where you just have trees and like mysterious forests and ruins, and it is just absolutely uh, beautiful, right? Uh, and and I think the the thing that 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 really stuck out to me when I saw it was that there were so many kind of possibilities for secrets, right? So when you're looking at the actual map, right, uh, you can already see things that kind of catch your eye immediately. So as an example, uh, on the Western coast, there's actually like a little cave, right? And if you look at that cave, that almost certainly is going to be like a rabbit hole that you have to follow, right? So you just have to like navigate your sim over there to get there. Uh, to the right, you have like ruins um, and and uh, reserves. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so there's kind of like a lot, a lot going on. Um, and then you know, in the northern side of the map, uh, you have the the more like residential area where you have a lot of row houses. Um, for those who are not familiar with like architecture wording, uh, row houses, I guess, be just being like, like rows. <laughs> Houses with rows. I'm bad with words. <laughs> and they can't um, see. This isn't. This isn't a video. No, I know. I know. I'm. Tr I'm trying to think. Rows with houses. Okay. <laughs> uh, but but no. It 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 is it is very uh it is very uh pretty. Um, and I think the the thing that that really stood out to me more than anything else was that there's actually a very small amount of lots within this particular map, right? So if we count them, Stasi, we have nine lots total, mm -hmm. okay? 
And compared to Horse Ranch's 13 lots, that's actually a very small amount, right? Yeah. Um, And more surprisingly, right, is if you look at the Horse Ranch map, you have like um, very large maps. You have uh, like the largest lots you can have, the smaller lots, the medium sized lots, et cetera. Uh, but across the board for uh, Tomerang, you have basically medium sized lots across the board, right? Mm -hmm. Is there a 64 by 64 there or no? Nope. 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 The biggest we have is 40 by 30. Wow. Really? I really wanted to do any 64 yeah. by 64s. Yeah, I don't I don't know. E even the even the park, if you wanted to restructure it, is 30 by 30. That's so wow. small. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's so yeah. So I I um I I'm I'm writing up like a review about this. And one of the things that I that I suggest or that I think here is that EA's intention was to build vertically, right? So that's the whole concept mm -hmm. of like apartments and everything. So they probably wanted to reduce the overall size that you were that you're dealing with as far as a lot is and build as up as you can go. Right. It doesn't necessarily excuse it. I just it makes me think that this was a very calculated move from them. Right. So they didn't want you to have the lots full of trees and everything. But that also does impact like if you wanted to build like a big old like community on a lot. Right. Because you don't have a big a big lot to sort of uh, deal with, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but it's uh, uh, for what it is though, it's it's actually very uh, it's actually very pretty. Like, like yeah. I haven't I haven't seen lots quite like that. Um, so uh, one of the things that I noticed is that each lot actually has its own sort of scenic view, right? Okay. Um, so the one that that I that I'm kind of uh that wanted to focus on or talk about is the Ista Riverfront. Um, and it's just like I said, if you look at it, it's this beautiful, like on the edge of the water there's a little pier uh you know you're you're next to the road and it's it's just very scenic in its in its view right the trail so, is it's pretty so oh. pretty Look, yeah it really oh is oh my it's, god it's just extraordinarily put together you know um so they might not be very big lots but honestly they have like a lot going for them like they they're just very very pretty you know what i mean so i really I'm really enjoying kind of that that aspect to it, right? That's a great way to explain it, actually, because yeah. I am more likely to use a lot based on what it looks like around the lot. Yeah. As a put yeah. and like I will build based on that more so than I will the lot size, really. No, I I agree. I agree a uh, hundred a hundred percent. Um, and yeah, the uh the the actual like um appearance of it if you will like the 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 style and theming again is all very uh asian based I, you have a mix of Indige indonesian japanese uh chinese etc um but if if you look at the actual lots like they they're just very like i don't know it's 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 as if you're looking at a lot that was built like in the 50s that they've just sort of been continuously renovating over the years right mm -hmm. yeah um and it's and it's just it's just very pretty like the whole like aesthetic of uh, Tomerang is, is just very, it's very cute. You know, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's very, um, very colorful, very bright, very green. Right. And, and I think there's a lot of potential for, for really building some nice stuff here, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Uh, and, and yeah, I mean the, the second aspect of, of the actual, uh, expansion that, that I think, uh, needs to be talked about is the property ownership idea right the, the property ownership ownership system um so this has been kind of a, a bit of a contentious thing for a lot of people right um the the actual property ownership when when, when was first heard about it people like it was split some people thought oh i love the idea of being able to own land or, or mm -hmm. rent apartments etc and there were yeah. other people who had very uh big issues with the idea of having the economic dynamic of oh you own property and I can evict you from my property or that I, I can... had a bit of a knee jerk reaction to it yeah. when I first yeah. saw the uh, trailers for it. My mm -hmm. reaction was like kind of tone deaf for the times yeah. Yeah. that yeah. were in, mm -hmm. and also yeah. they really played into like the slumlord aspect yeah. of it. But yeah. also like I I'm not obviously I'm excited for the pack and I'm not above like the villainous stuff that the Sims are known for either. Sure. So 
Um, but yeah, I definitely had a bit of a knee jerk reaction. Like I'm surprised that like, I'm still going to buy it, but I'm surprised that they went that direction. So. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I think, uh, there, there, there are things to be said about the, the, the actual, um, the system itself along with the general idea that, uh, Asian countries do tend to be, you know, overpopulated and they tend to have more of like you know the renting community mm -hmm. um so so there is definitely this sort of stigma that the game had to overcome but uh to be honest i i think they've done it well uh one of the things that i that i think i'd like them to see so uh whenever you you purchase a a property right or that you own a property you'll see that the each unit has an individual value okay right? um so that means that that'll be like the and that the rent value will be calculated against that unit value, right? And just like a regular home within The Sims 4, uh, the unit value is determined by the size and the furniture that's within it, right? Um, so one of the things that I wish could be done, and I don't think it can be done, right, is I wish that you could edit the unit value so that you can set your own price. For oh, you can't set your own price? No, no that's all. Oh, shit. Now. Sorry, I yeah. thought you totally could. No, I don't think no. so. No, I don't think so. No. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, um, that, so, so like, for example, this I would have. Science person though, hold that thought. You don't right. think you could go into the game and manipulate that in some way? I mean, there. I'm sure like as a mod, possibly for sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 And, and I'm sure that a mod like that is going to come out. Right. Because. Yeah. I can't tell I can't tell you how many times I've wanted to like have like a, a like a like one single lot for like my friends, but I didn't want to be all one household, right? Like mm -hmm. I wanted us to like just live independently. But I hate the idea that I would then have to like charge each of them money to live in my lot and then have to like worry about their finances as a sim individually. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So um I do wish that that you could actually set the unit value so that so that they don't have to pay a certain amount of rent, et cetera. Right. Um, but but that that, you know, that's again, that that's feedback that I'm sure uh, EA is going to uh, take into consideration. Right. Uh, the other thing that I thought was very cool about this rental property feature is that you can actually have individual lot challenges and lot traits per room. OK. Right. Oh, so, no. Yeah. So like, for example, you could have one specific room have like the mold challenge. So you just have a bunch of mold there. Uh, yeah. But you might not have it in another room or anything like that. Or you might have one room that's particularly sunny. And then again, the other the other room that's not right. So I thought that that was like a lot of fun because you could really make certain rooms be really interesting. So you could have like one room that's like totally good vibes, you know, like like woohoo central, if you will. Right. And then you could have another <laughs> room be completely different, you know. <laughs> so so it, it, there's a, kind of a lot that a lot that you can sort of do there and 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 customize it to your to your Sims vibe and and demeanor right um the actual creating of of lots is is fairly simple um typically all you do is you know how when you select the room um it kind of highlights the entire room and you can like move it or whatever mm -hmm. right uh now there's an additional drop down where you'll be able to select whether it's a shared space which means that anybody who lives in that lot will be able to access this room or you can set it to be part of an existing unit Right. So you can actually mix and match. Right. That's um, cool. Yeah. I do. Which, I do actually have a question. I, I didn't mean yeah. to cut you off. No, so please. is that just specifically to this world or is this every it's everywhere? It's everywhere. It's and everywhere. that's and that is included in base game or no, you, you have to have four you rent have to in have order to rent. get access to it everywhere in the world. OK. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The, no, the, I, yeah. Just the, always curious. No, of course. And I think the only condition that that currently exists that we know about is that it cannot be on coastal property. So if the lot is within water, it cannot mm -hmm. have uh, rental units. We don't really know why. I'm sure there's a technical reason somewhere, but like there's a couple of lots in Sulani that cannot huh. uh, have rental properties. Did EA tell you that? Or yeah, did no, you it's, find it's that been, out? No, it's been announced. Oh, basically. okay. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that that that's kind of the 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 drawback. I, I don't really get it from like a technical level, but there must be one. There has to be something yeah. there, some yeah. form of coding yeah. that just doesn't right, right. work. Exactly, so. exactly. Yeah. Sorry, go yeah. ahead. I was just no, no, no. It's totally okay. No, it's 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 honestly a good question. 
Uh, but yeah, so like what what I like about it is that you're able to actually define units that don't have to necessarily be physically together, right? So you, you can have one room on one side of the lot and another room on the other side of the lot and technically have that be one unit, right? So you can actually nice. have people yeah, like yeah. moving in between their, their rooms or whatever without having to actually be physically attached to one another, which I originally thought. Like I thought like you'd have to like have them physically together in order to be like a chunk or whatever. Uh, but that's <clears throat> that's not that's not really uh the case, right? Um now, uh as far as like like the actual system is, is in place, it's actually very easy to use, right? Uh th there's a new feature whenever you click on um your your lot, which is to actually define like these highlighted borders that tell you what's what, right? Uh so for example, if you select it, you'll see like a blue border designating that this is one unit and then you'll see a pink border that means it's another unit, okay. right? Um, you can thankfully uh, turn that off because it's actually really dis uh, disorienting for me sometimes because oh. it's like you just see them all over and my screen just kind of like panics out a little bit, right? Um, but the I, I guess the elephant in the room that really needs to be chatted about here is the, the loading that happens in between uh, each one of these uh, units. So, oh, that's so annoying on your yeah. stream the other day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. um, so when you load up the game, you obviously load into your home unit, right? And you're able to see your unit fine, right? Uh, but when you click down or to go to any other house, you may or may not see anybody present or anything there, right? Mm -hmm. The reason why that is is because your game is technically only loading your existing lot, and when you go to another person's house you'll actually have the option like by clicking on the door and clicking visit, right? Huh. So so once you visit, the game will load, like it'll hard load, right? Like it'll just, you'll get the loading screen and then you'll appear in front of the door and then you'll no longer be able to see the lot that you were at, but you'll be able to see the the, the new lot that you're on, right? Um, And I actually had a lot of problem with this on, on my stream the other day um, because the game doesn't tell you that the person is home or not when you switch to a mm. lot, okay? Mm. So like, imagine you're playing the game and you go, okay, I'm gonna visit this person's house. You click on their door, you hit visit, you load, you get to the door and there's no option to knock because there's no one there, oh. right? So then you're like, okay, I guess I I, ha I can break in. I guess if I wanna be like a vagrant, I can break into the house, yeah. right? Or I just leave. So then I have to leave and I have to like load out of the house to go back to my original house. Right. Um, and it's frustrating. And like, don't get me wrong. Like one would think, oh, but the, the Sims actually tells you if someone's in at their house, because when you open up the little like um, unit menu, you see like the, the icon of the person or whatever. Um, yeah, that's wrong right now. So like if your Sim is on the lot, it'll it'll mark you as being present. But if you're not in the house, if that sim is not in the house when you go, you won't be able to knock on the door. Like, it's a very strange, like, I almost half believe it's a bug, but I honestly, I honestly don't, don't know for sure. Right. And the door went missing. And the door went missing. Yeah. Yeah. There's, <laughs> there's a lot of like little bugs that you can sort of uh, expect on, on that front or, and everything. But uh, really that that's kind of been the, the, the big factor for me has just been like the loading. I don't have a problem with the actual loading itself personally. How long does it yeah. take to load? It I think it depends on the computer, right? I mean, I, I've yeah, I've heard people that that supposedly have really long load time, so I don't know if it's like really oh, quick wow. or not. I guess the way that you would think about it is how long does it take you to load um between like neighborhood sections in a world, right? Neighborhood so, like, sections, yeah, probably yeah. like 30 like 30 seconds or so. Right. Yeah, or and it, it, yeah. And it kind of breaks the flow a little bit, right? When you're like, you're yeah, in one does. little, like one little like apartment and you're trying to go mm -hmm. back and forth and you're like loading back and forth. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah I think, I feel like city living's loading yeah. times are a little bit faster though. Cause I feel like it's optimized to be able to just yeah. load in that neighbor, that neighbor's apartment. Uh, right. And I thought that they would have that same kind of engine or setup for, uh, for the new, for the new expansion pack, but it looks like it's not the case. Yeah, that's right. They actually, so they had to change so much in the game that every single mod that you know broke. Like yeah. Everything, oh, yeah. everything broke, right? Yeah. My Andrew, wedding story is all over again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, every everything was broken. Um, perhaps one of the more prolific uh, modders, Twisted Mexi, actually uh was trying to like release information because people were lost. Like they were like, they don't, I don't, we don't know why our mods are broken. Nothing's working. Uh, and they were trying to kind of figure it out because it was kind of a, it was kind of a mess, right? Um, and like you know, I I I would love to see like more mod creators be like more in line with EA so that we can kind of avoid stuff like this. So yeah. that they don't have to like react on the patch day, you know what I mean? Um, but uh, but yeah, no, it, all all around those those are kind of the the big issues, right? Everything else I found has worked splendidly. Um, it's just a couple of little things don't make sense. So here's a good example: when you go to work, right, or like you leave your lot, your sim runs out the front of the lot entryway, right? Like when you go to school yeah. or or something like that, you run to like the front of the lot, right? Now in like a, a a rental, you run to your house, right? So like for example, my sim when they went to work would run into their apartment and then disappear to work. You know what I mean? Oh, that's like, weird. It's weird. Like it's 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 just little things like that that are just strange because the game has now registered the entrance of the lot is dependent on what unit you own, right? So like the lot is no longer like base. You know what I mean? The base is the yeah. door to your house, right? Um, uh, so, so yeah, there's just like I said, it's, it's a couple of little usability issues that that I think are are kind of um, a little uh, a little um, quirky, if you will. Um, but all around, I I love the system. Like I love the idea of being able to. Oh, and, and uh, here's here's another thing I I realized: your welcome wagon will almost always be residents of your lot instead of just random people. Yes. You okay, that's, I mean? cool. oh, that's dope. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so it's 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 really it's really it's really fun because it's like your your apartment is coming by to say hey, what's up or whatever, right? Yeah. Uh, that's so, cool. so it's 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 a fun time. I I might I messed that up a little bit, but I'm really bad with the welcome wagon. I'm he really bad. With... All the yeah, I, I ignored my entire welcome wagon. So, uh, but no, it's 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 a good time. Um, you know, I I think that as as far as like rental properties are concerned, though, um. It's there's a, a, a sir, other other simmers have have complained that like their tenants get really angry at them really quickly. So <laughs> I think I mean, OK, that's really so sick. Yeah, so it, it is. But like, Stasi, let me ask you this. Like, let's say, for example, you were uh you you were playing and you had a bunch of tenants and then like 30 minutes into it, they were like revolting against you. Would you be would that be fun for you? No. <laughs> No, <laughs> no we Nard. Nard would love it. No. Yeah, Nard would. Yeah, I was gonna say that's like my kind of gameplay. <laughs> or like the awful gamer who likes chaos. Exactly. For sure. yeah. I love the like for Nard. vanilla. Yeah, but I'm just like mm -hmm. that. I would. I wouldn't know what to do. Yeah, because like, you want to have a good time. You want to be pleasant. You just want to enjoy yourself, and then you don't want to have like your Sims angry at you all of a sudden. You know what I mean? Like. A lot of people don't want that negativity. So that kind of stuff, I I, I kind of hope that they, you know how like the dust system, you can like disable that or whatever. Yeah. I kind of hope that in the future they make it so that you can disable like tenant revolts and stuff like that. Cause yeah. um, you might not necessarily want, or or like, let's say for example, you're trying, oh, I'm going to build a, 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 a lot that is for like me and my family. And like, we're all going to live in our own little homes and we're just going to have like this good time. And then like you're like the little the little daughter and then your entire family revolts against you. You know what I mean? Like that I, I would just be like the I would just be like the saddest thing. Bobby's in the world. like, that's my life, honestly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you don't necessarily want that to happen. So all of these systems that they've built into like the property ownership are great, but a lot of it should be optional or you should have the ability to disable it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, kind of like eco lifestyle where if you yeah. don't want the NAPs or the, uh, or the yeah. eco yeah. Yeah. Uh, whatever, you can kind of disable it in game settings. Exactly. No, exactly. And I think, and I think, uh, um, they're gonna, I'm certain that they're going to do that because I, I feel like you're going to get a lot of people who are going to have, like a, a good example, uh, I know that we were going to talk about this in a moment, but one of the things they, that they introduced into the game as a lot challenge, but also just a general existence is the idea of mold, right? Yeah. So the game now has yeah. mold within it. Um, and that's kind of a trigger for a lot of people, right? Um, not, not you know, you, you can't ignore the very obvious elephant in the room of the things that we just went through over the last couple of years, right? Um, 
But some people yeah. are just general like germaphobes or they don't like the idea of like pollutants and things like that. Right. Um, so it's kind of like, again, those things should be you should have the ability to disable that. So you don't necessarily have to go through that that little bit of trauma because the mold death is is very scary. Like it, it's very um, it's very powerful. Like it's very like like you have a, a person who seems to like be growing mushrooms and spores out of their body. They're like. It, it looks almost like it looks From almost the like the last of us. us. Exactly. Like last of us. <laughs> exactly. You're right. Yeah. Um, so it's it's very it's very yeah. freaky. It's very freaky. And and not only that, but they're contagious, right? So mm. so it can spread, right? And uh in fact, when you yeah. die, when you die a mold death, your ghost becomes died of mold, and the ghost itself can spread the mold. Oh, oh wow. my god. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's Nerd, like I know what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> I already know. Yeah. Yeah. So so it so it 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 kind of goes all over the place and and it's it's uh it, again I think it's cool but I understand that some people may not necessarily want that right and the mm -hmm. reason I keep talking about having these things be optional is because you know that there's going to be people out there who are going to say. I'm not going to buy the pack because I'm scared of this, or I'm not going to buy the pack because I don't want to have associations with this particular kind of lifestyle. Yeah. Like, like there's, there's going to be people who avoid it because they don't want to introduce it to the, it's kind of like, um, like if you buy, like if you buy vampires, then Vlad's going to be at your door. And some people might be like, yeah. I'm not going to buy vampires because I don't want Vlad coming to my door every single time I start right. a sim. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, these kind of things should be like toggleable so that you don't have this sort of situation continuously occurring. You know what I mean? Yeah, but um, I think also though with uh with the new pack, I mm -hmm. think you can just not use that lot trait challenge for a mode or whatever, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, for sure. Uh, or for is sure. it still going to be or are you still able to get mode even if you don't have that lot challenge? It's honestly a good a good question. I'm actually not sure. I'm going to try that oh. now cuz I'm curious. <laughs> and what if um, and and also, the gets it, yeah. and then you get mold from them. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And 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 again, like to to give you guys kind of like an example of how this can go haywire, right? And again, I, I'm not trying to plug my stream. I'm just this this all happened on my stream the other day, and like it it's kind of shows the impact of this, right? Um, so uh, when when I was streaming for rent, um, I was the tenant to my uh, sorry, I was the the landlord to my tenants, right? And because I missed the welcome wagon, all of them hated me. Like, I never spoken to them, but like, I missed the welcome wagon and they were like, forget this guy. I'm over it. Right. And yeah. they left angry. So then I was like, okay, everyone hates me. I need to fix this. Right. And then at some point, right. Um, I got told that one of my tenants was not throwing her trash away. Right. And that I needed to go in there and throw her trash out. Right. So I get there. And I go to grab her trash, but it turns out that in order to throw the trash out, I need to have an external trash can. I don't have an external trash can. And it turns out that 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 moment of like going to clean out her trash is considered a social event, right? But unlike every social event, you can't leave it. Like you can't X out of the situation. So I was in this problem where she had a full bag, like trash can, she hated me. I wasn't able to do anything about her trash. So she was getting angry at me because it smelled. And the whole interaction ended with her viscerally hating me because, because I didn't clean out her trash. So like I had no recourse in this situation. I was forced into this horrible landlord tenant like relationship that was just, I couldn't do anything about it. You know what I mean? And I was like, damn, I had no control over the situation, you know, because when you are, when you are in another person's lot, you can't go to build by mode, right? So I didn't have a situation to be able to say, oh, I don't have a trash can. Hold on, let me go to build by, put a trash can down and resolve the situation. I wasn't able to do that. I was like stuck in this event and it it sucked. Like I didn't want that to happen. You know what I mean? Oh, so, wow. Wow. so you can't go to build and buy. No, right. Mm -hmm. EB enable free That's build. weird, so... <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's true. Yeah. I could have done But that's that. weird that it won't let you do that though. You would think like they got it like can you go on your phone or can you go to a computer and buy something? Or that's weird so, that it won't let you go in the building buy, but yet yeah. there's no gameplay option available for you to go buy one or or whatever. Yeah. 
so that's that's I think that's one of the core problems with what people expect of this pack. Um, when you are the property owner, you would expect that you have complete domain over everything that happens, right? Mm -hmm. Meaning that you can edit people's lots. But the moment that you own the property, you are restricted to the rights of this current active sim that you're using, right? So that means that since my sim, despite being the property owner, was in the home of another sim, I didn't have the rights to edit her lot. Does that make sense? Like I, I wasn't able to modify her, her uh, settings. Yeah. Right? So that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so, but again, that might bother some people because it's kind of like the loss of this autonomy that they would normally have, right? Um, and and I think that that's that's kind of again, these are all little usability things that either are going to get patched or are going to get modified because uh, maybe they hadn't considered how how that plays out, right? Um. But again, yeah, li little things like that 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 are really kind of frustrating. But but overall, like I said, I I would rather have these usability issues than not have this at all because I've kind of been waiting for this specific use case system for like ever now, you know. So I'm I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna do. I'm I'm gonna build like a little like apartment and I'm gonna make Stasi and I'm gonna make Disney and I'm gonna make Nard and I'm gonna have you all just hanging out in my in my apartment. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'll bake cookies. Like exactly. Do do you have do you have a, a Stasi sim? I do have a Stasi sim. Oh my god, I need to see it. I I, need to I, need to I, see it. I do. I also had uh somebody create me in the Sims, which will be a sneak a very high up cast creator created me in the Sims for a Christmas <laughs> present, which you will see in the next couple weeks when oh, it gets nice. released. So yeah. Oh, amazing. The, yeah, but Hunter, I'll totally send you. No, please. She did a better job. Mine looks like <laughs> nobody, but hers, I showed my husband and he's like, oh my God, that's you. <laughs> I was like, that is me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. My friend Sarah made me and I was really impressed with uh, with her doing Is that, that the too. one that you showed me? Yeah. Oh yeah, that one looked really good. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, but yeah. My, 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 sim, my sim looks like me and... I That's love how cool. you use him. And then you and Nard in the real, the collab you did oh, together. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. Using yourself for that was so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, in the itinerary that we had, were yes. we planning on talking about uh, the base game updates or no? Yes, we have we to. Could. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I wanted to know from, well, Gons mm -hmm. and Nard especially, what did you, just because you have the pack, um, mm -hmm. What did you think of the uh, kitchen and bathroom sink updates? Oh, that that ruined Nard's life, oh. apparently, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You already know it did. <laughs> and I just did uh, an experiment, too. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I ended up going to a lot and actually making all the sinks bathroom sinks <laughs> and uh, and made all my Sims in that household literally, like, serve a meal. And after they ate, all they would do when you ask them to clean up is they would like pick up the plate and then just drop it down because there's no like kitchen sinks. <laughs> All the sinks are bathroom sinks. Oh my and I'm just sitting there doing that this whole time. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, it's, 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 it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Answering the important questions. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. I, 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 exactly. I think, yeah. I think it was, it was a big, like, it was a long time coming, right? Because that's always been the biggest complaint about people. Like, I hope this is the beginning of improvements like this. Like, I hate, for example, that like I'll tell my sim to eat something and they'll pick up their plate and they'll walk like 15 miles away just to like sit, like sit somewhere randomly to eat food. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I hope that I can like designate a, a, a surface as like eatable space. You know what I mean? Like, this is where you sit to eat food. You know what I mean? Like that. That's what I'm hoping is like the continuation of this because it can get a little wild. Now all they need to do is disable yeah. the 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 dang mobile phone so that that can just be done with completely. Because I I hate that aspect of it. I hate that yeah. every second every second they're like, mm -hmm. yep, <laughs> yep. <laughs> that probably sucks for like the people who try to do like time stories. Like yes, yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so when I was so when I when I started streaming, I first did a, a decades challenge. And 
I had to find a way to like pretend about like whenever the phone would come up, I'd be like, no, that that's just the brick. Like, like, like he's just holding a brick up. It's just a, a paint, a brick with paint. There's not anything to don't, don't worry about that or whatever. Um, but yeah, no, ab- absolutely. It's, it's, it's really, it's really a, a, a weird one. Uh, another yeah. thing that, that people really excited. And, and I don't know if this is base game only, but um, we have kettles now in the game, like proper boiling water kettles in the game. Yeah. Um, that's cool and, yeah. And, and yeah and people people were like specifically people in like the UK and everything were like losing their mind because you know us, us Americans don't habitually drink tea I mean I do but like most Americans yeah. don't don't drink tea or whatever Um, so so like I, I have a couple of people in the UK who were like losing their mind about that like they, they were just yeah, so in Canada I, too Same. yeah Canada yeah yeah okay <laughs> can we like debunk that Americans actually don't just microwave their water to make it hot <laughs> No, we uh, don't I do boil that. my water. No, no, yeah. we boil yeah, our water. Boil, boil our water. water. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we 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 sure. absolutely yeah we. There's no way could because that that just the thing would be too hot. <laughs> like yes. you'd grab it and it would just yeah. burn your hand. Like right. it doesn't make any sense. Bond and Nard just like, what do you think of us? <laughs> like, yeah, what do y'all know, right? Geez, y'all oh, really God. think poorly of us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I but but I will say I will say that I uh I bought uh I bought an actual kettle like like a like a one that like that whistles when it's done yeah right and mm-hmm. i put it on there and like my american self was like this is gonna blow up like this is a bomb right like you're gonna <laughs> fill it with water and it's gonna compress in steam and it's gonna explode like there's no way for it to go this is a bomb like what are you like what are you talking about and like i couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't handle it and as soon as it started going Psst, i was like oh my god oh my god like i, I was just started freaking <laughs> that's funny <laughs> no but yeah uh, so yeah, they they have kettles. Uh, they also have um, pressure cookers. Since we're talking about bombs, all right. Mm-hmm. Um, so they, they implemented pressure they cookers. Were gone seriously. Oh, and the windows too. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't forget the windows. Yeah, we're gonna get censored we out the windows. Of the podcast because you keep saying <laughs> that's not the danger word. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, you're right. The 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 windows in city living, right, Nard? Yeah, 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 you can move those. Those yes. are movable yeah. now. Oh yeah, my that was, God. That was a, a big. That was I a big. Out about that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that that that's. I mean, that was a. A lot of people used to complain about that, so I'm really, I'm really excited about it. Um, but yeah, no, there's there's a lot of really cool things that that are that are, that have come out. Um, I've been so like laser focused on four rent that I haven't like played with like the sinks and all that stuff. Uh, yeah. So far. yeah. Um, um, are we ready to move on? Onto yeah. townies? Oh, yes. we absolutely can. Okay. We absolutely can. So uh, the boring when... stuff. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Yo, oh, we're gonna eat your words. Two minutes. You're gonna eat your words. We're gonna throw hands. We're gonna. Yeah, throw my bad. Hands. My bad. I'm oh, just my kidding. God. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, re- I'm reading the room, everybody. I'm reading yeah. the room. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the 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 world of Tom Rang has some interesting, both like townies that kind of roam around and also like townies that have lots in them. Um, It has been a very sort of interesting uh, ride with them. So I think the one that people are going to most immediately sort of see is that we have like the Bunma family, right? Um, It's a family of um, husband and wife, child and uh, grandmother, right? A very, very sort of basic little uh, family family. they're they're basically uh, very traditional uh, Southeast Asian. Um, nothing like the, nothing really stands out about them. I haven't really played with them uh, much yet. Um, but I I love I love what the grandmother's wearing. Like she has like this beautiful like like blue flowery dress, which I just I love to death. Um, but yeah, they're 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 very, you're very standard one. Uh, I think the the one that that really stood out to me more than anything else was over here in Sungai Point. Um, I'm going to like geek out for a moment because I really like this family does too much to me. Um, yeah. So there so so uh, there is a family uh, within uh, Sunghai Point called the Lin Sadia family. Right. Or Sadia family. Um, so they are um, they're a complex family. Right. Uh, you have. Um, uh, I'll pull up their names. So I even forget them to now. You have Chan and Arturo. Right. Um, who had two daughters, right? Uh, T and Lien. Okay. Now, um, whether they had a surrogate mother or the mother's not present, or it was just Sims mechanics of being able to have uh, children is unknown, right? Um, but they had these two children. 
Uh, and Lien got married to Alan Sadia, and they had uh, Cam Sadia as a child, right? Um, but you notice I said T, right? And there is no T here. Well, there's a lot of T, but not that T. Um, well, on the first on the first floor, right? You actually have T Ling, the sister uh, to Lien, who lives in in the first floor, right? Now, You're when on. I was yeah, when when I was showing court like all of these townies. I wasn't even going to talk about T Lin. Like I was focused on another family, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Um, but when you look at T's description, it actually says that she is the weird aunt of the family, right? And as soon as I read that, I was like, "What is? What does that mean? What What does that mean? Weird aunt, right?" Um, and when I went when I went to her to her uh, like apartment to start to see what 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 she's all about, she's definitely weird, right? Um, just number one from like her dress, right? She she wears like some pretty zany stuff. Um, but her apartment is probably like a crazy person's house. Like she has the weirdest collection of decorations all over her home that you could possibly. Nard could of. move in, like Nard, yeah, Nard yeah. could move in like Horrible. right then and there, right? Um, and I think the the thing that really exemplifies kind of how how uh eccentric she is is that she actually has. I, I love saying this. She has a <laughs> portrait of a sad clown above her bed. Okay. Like, oh, you got it. you had me at sad clown. Yeah, okay? Oh my God. <laughs> she got it. No, say no more. Yeah. Yeah. Say like less. she like, like yeah, she <laughs> she has so so it's not only that, right? She has like a portrait of a sad clown above her bed. She has a pink elephant uh kettle on her dresser. Mm -hmm. She has a porcelain pig. In front of her bed, Ooh. um, and she ha yeah, and then she has like random, uh, random stuff like hands and mallards on her desk. Like everything about her is just very eccentric, okay. right? And I thought that that's all it was, right? And then I started to uh, investigate her a little more, and that's actually where I found that she's a secret agent. Her career is a secret agent, right? Yep. And that stood out. So T Ling is the weird aunt who is also a secret agent. And I thought, okay, all right, you know what? That's fine. I get it. Like, she's just, that that's her career. Maybe she likes to do special things or whatever. But I kept looking and it kept getting weirder, okay? So when I when I headed over to her, like, her traits, right? I actually found that in her life story, in her life bio, she was abducted by aliens. Now, if that's not like the weirdest random thing to put on your sim in Tom Rang that I've ever heard of, right? And it turns out that she was abducted by aliens before she got her job as a secret agent. Okay. Huh. So, so very clearly something happened in her life, in this case, getting abducted by aliens and ended up as a secret agent. Right. And I thought, okay, you know what? That's probably fluff or whatever, but I kept looking and I found that inside of Teeling's settings in her traits, right. In her likes and dislikes, she actually likes Batu music, right? Batu music being the music from the Star Wars world, the alien planet of the Star Wars world. So I basically have a working theory, okay, that The Sims kind of confirmed on me, but I have a working theory that T Ling is an alien doppelganger and not the actual T Ling, okay? That is my theory. Now, she is not an occult sim. But I'm pretty confidently sure that she was abducted by aliens and we have like this whole like Bella Goth situation happening oh, again no. where she is this whole other person, this clone that exists, and we don't know where the real the real teeling is. Is Bella Goth also somebody <laughs> queue up X Files? Yeah. <laughs> somebody no, it's, queue it's up Scully. X Files thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. And and I thought, and you know what? I thought that that was that was that was strange, right? Like I I thought also that that was got eaten by a cow plant. Yeah, she got eaten by a cow plant too. Like like she's just weird. Like she's just very unusual altogether, right? Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of the story happening between them. Um, why they chose to do this, I don't know. Like there's no good uh -huh. reason. Yeah, like there's no good reason why this particular storyline exists, but it totally does. And I'm kind of living for it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm kind of, I'm kind well, of for it. Yeah. Yeah. And All then right. there's the sisters. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So so then the the final uh the final family uh that comes uh prepackaged with for rent is um that's me. Um we have the I'm gonna I'm gonna fail this one. Uh Kaya Putri. Did I say that right? <laughs> did I, did I pronounce that <laughs> Kaya we Putri? We were Googling this for forever. We were like, what <laughs> where's that name origins from? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I totally forgot it. Yeah, but but the so so the so the Kaya Putri are um sisters, right? Uh in fact, um Vanessa or Vanisha Kaya Putri is actually the uh the person from the trailer, right? That that's actually who uh who we see there. Um, her, uh, her family, uh, her mom and dad died from an accident, right? Um, and she was left taking care of yeah, accident, uh, left taking care of her, um, teenage sister, right? And not only is she taking care of a teenage sister, but she is also, uh, taking care of the home that, that, that was left behind, right? She's actually the property owner of her building and she rents out to, uh, tenants, Right. Um, now, when you first load up the game, you actually find that her and her relationship with uh, Zafira, uh, that's her sister, uh, is bad. Like they both dislike each other. Right. Which is, I guess is part of the course for sisters sometimes. But in this particular case, it really stands out. Um, Zafira, by the way, uh, for those who might not be familiar, is the Snoop within the uh, Sims 4 for rent trailer. Uh, so when you see the person like breaking and entering and looking around. Zafira is is the one that that we're seeing, right? Um, interestingly, Vanisha also has uh, a relationship with T. Uh, they seem to be very good friends. Now, what that means about Vanisha, I'm not sure. Maybe Vanisha is getting tricked by T. Maybe she's in on it. I have no idea. But that is the only active relationship uh, she she has uh, to that one, right? Um, now, Zafira again is your typical rebellious teenager. She likes to draw. She likes to paint. Uh, but she also likes to snoop around. So uh, Zafira spends a lot of her time breaking into people's homes. Uh, in fact, when you look at her life story, you actually see that she committed her first breaking and entering uh, at a very early age. So she's kind of been doing this uh, from the get go. Uh, she's uh, she's kind yeah, that's of, she's, my kind of Sam right there. <laughs> yeah, she's kind of a rebel. I'm not even I'm not even gonna lie. She's she's kind of a she's kind of a rebel. Her relationship isn't going so well with her sister. Uh, but yeah, they're they're making it uh they're making it do. Uh but that I think um for I'm really happy with these townies, right? Um yeah, they have too. yeah, they have a lot of character, they have a lot of life in them. Um they they um they they decided to go as far as they can in the Sims 4 with the story. Uh and I really like how they're handling it. Like I I really like how they're adding little bits of story where they can. Um, they're not making it obviously like a big production, but it's very clear. Like it's a lot more now than we might have gotten in the past, right? Um, so it's so it's really exciting. Um, I, I will say that that I appreciate what they did with the Bunma family. Um, I understand that they have to have like a quote unquote like milk toast family, you know, like a family that's just there, nothing too, nothing too special, nothing too whatever. They're just like a, a standard family. Um but honestly, I, I like them a lot. I like them a lot. There's there's a couple of other townies that just kind of roam the world, but I haven't gotten a chance to really ex, um, experience a, a lot of them uh, just yet. Right? There's um, there's actually now now I'm lying because there is one. There is a family called Gan G A N, and there are like seven of them, and they kind of roam Tomarang. And I, I'm gonna learn a little bit more about them, but uh, they they don't have a home. They just kind of roam around. Um, the uh. The other thing, uh, as as far as like townies are are concerned, um, I am currently working on a separate theory, um, that there is some kind of like monster in Tomarang, okay, uh, and and the reason I here's okay the reason I think that okay, is because um when you roam around Tomarang at night, there are eyes in the forest, very similar to like the werewolf pack and very similar to the vampire uh, world that there seems to be something watching you in Tomerang. There's mm. eyes in Sylvan Glade, too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, always... yeah. that's right. That's Body's right. watching me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I, I really, I really think, I really think that there's, there's something, there's something there. Uh, and, and what I haven't discovered yet is in the trailer for For Rent, um, there was a moment where there was a, an individual who was in front of a ruin and she flashed a badge that had like a, like a, a paw print on it. Right. 
Yeah. Um, and she oh, made some kind of like know. like symbolism of like she did like a growl, right? Put Which again, yeah. So I it makes me think that something is in here, like some kind of spirit or, or something like that. And I know for the fact that there are spirits because the game actually has um actually has it. like spirit altars, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like like you can actually pray to like spirits within within Tomarang. So I think that there's something there. I haven't quite figured it out yet, but I'm pretty sure that there's something hidden there. Don't tell me about it. <laughs> but are the badges a thing, though? Are the what? Are the those badges? badges a thing? Like honestly, I don't know. Yeah, I haven't because they were in the trailer. They they must be. I think yeah. there's I think there's secrets uh -huh. to be found here, and we haven't really we haven't really scratched the surface of it. Right. Tune into Gon's stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Self plug. Yeah, exactly. Self plug. <laughs> All right, the other the other I think the thing that we need to mention about um about Tomarang that we haven't really yet and I think it's important that we do um is actually the night market. So in Tomarang there is a whole section like a whole market that you can go to to actually visit and purchase things and and look at things. Um so you know how uh Home Chef Hustle released the concept of stalls, right? Yeah. Um yeah. so uh, it's the, the hall is so cool. Exactly. So for rent expanded on it and actually made uh, a whole market based on it. Oh shit. Um, it, yeah. And if it's I can so cool. find it, yeah, I'm I'm gonna try to look at it so that we can see it while while we're chatting about it. Uh, but basically they've introduced new stalls that you can use for your hustle. So with Home Chef Hustle, you only had like the one, right? Uh, but now you actually have multiple. That you can um that you can actually like look at or 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 use in, in game for everything that you want to do. Um and they're all very cool looking. Yeah. So and it's a bit ambiguous as well. So like you could yes. sell multiple things without exactly. It, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So so obviously the yeah, obviously the night market really uh expands at night. Um, but if if we take a look uh when we when we when we go in there, it, it's quite literally stall after stall of uh, different things that you can buy right and each one of these are working it obviously depends on when you go and at what time you go uh, but the markets themselves are open and similar to Sh uh, San Mushino uh, where you can uh, purchase certain foods to learn how to make them you could do the same thing in in uh, in Tamarang right you can buy items you can buy food no. that you can learn how to make um, one of the coolest foods that they've introduced into uh, into for rent is actually, and I'm going to butcher it. If I'm not saying it right, I'm so sorry. It's called Halo Halo, okay? Which I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure if it's Halo Halo or Halo Halo. Stasi, you know food. Do you know which way it is? you put me on the spot right now. I, I'm going to be like, <laughs> I have the yeah. lightest tongue to pronounce things. Oh, Canadian, right? Like, I super put her on the Canadian. Spot, you know? Put her super on the spot. Super white Canadian girl hair. <laughs> I, I think it is a Halo Halo, I okay, think. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. So, 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 uh, Halo Halo is, is basically, uh, it's like a, it's like the, like the, the coolest combination parfait you could ever think of, right? It has like Ooh. yogurt, ice cream, fruit. It, it has, it has like dried Damn. fruit. It has, um, marmalade. Like it, it has everything you can Damn. think of in like a bowl. You know also, what I mean? Damn. Sugar. How many grams of sugar is in that? Oh, so much. You can't even imagine. You can't yeah. even imagine diabetics. Yeah. You gotta make it, Gons. You gotta yeah, make it. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Next reel. That's what I want to <laughs> exactly. see. I'm gonna. I actually am gonna make Halo Halo. Uh, so so here's the problem. Here's the problem. Okay, the main thing of Halo Halo is ube root, right? And an ube root is actually uh like a like a purple root that Asian people use within their their cuisine. I don't know where I'm gonna find ube root in Miami, Florida. Uh, but I, I'm gonna try to find ube root. To do this correctly, um, but uh, if I can't, uh, I'm just gonna pretend and I'm gonna use purple hue coloring because you know. I'll mail you some if we got some down here in San Diego. <laughs> Please. Would you use like ice cream and then just make it purple or something, or would you? You would it not be ice cream it, if you? No, were it, it, it would. No, it would. It that would be it. That would be it. It's, I have this like weird OCD perfectionist in me that I actually have to make it like ube root. I can't believe how accurate. <laughs> Winterfest cake was yeah, like the yeah. Grand yeah. <laughs> it was insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was generally yeah. impressed as a cake decorator. I was like, holy <laughs> fuck. It was, it was, it was, it was such a yeah, it was it was such a difficult thing because um so it it's white, 
right? Like it's a white frosting and yeah. I couldn't for the life of me find a white frosting that I could just readily buy. So I had to make my own frosting, right? Now, what I have learned that Stasi, you might know very well is that what changes a frosting from a white to a generally like off-white color is butter. So yes. if you want to have a very light frosting, you either need to use light butter or Crisco. So I had to I had to haul my butt over to a Walmart to get the biggest can of Crisco that I could possibly imagine, right? And I had to put this thing together and and I had to make it and I and I had I made my own like buttercream sans butter Crisco. And as I was making it, it was obviously getting hot. So I had to like layer it, put it in the fridge, let it sit there for 45 minutes, take it out, layer it again, put it back in. So this thing took a day to set up, right? Like it was it was the most frustrating thing in the world. And I and I think what what really bothered me at the end of the day was that it it itself wasn't um it wasn't uniform. Like it, I wish I had used fondant. Like I feel like I would have had an easier time if I had just used fondant and like just put it down and it would have just been like one perfect cake. And instead you could see like the ridges on it and everything, right? Which I, I, I that that was my own thing that bugged me. You were fine. <laughs> you were fine. What was the baking level going into making that cake? Yeah. I I, I had made waffles. I had made a waffle and apple like, pie. You just wake <laughs> up and decide that you're going to go to law school, like yeah. what, right? <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I, I, it's 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 a it's a gift. It's a uh, gift. So a fun tip for anybody listening that is struggling with that, you can actually buy white food coloring, and that does actually mm. help you to make something a little bit more white. If anybody oh, yeah, listening yeah. out there is <laughs> wanting to get crystal snow like snow <laughs> white color icing mm -hmm. you can there always you get white food color nice yeah. where where were you when Noted. I, was doing <laughs> I would have i would have you, you, anytime if someone has a food question please just message i'm just like a walking food of knowledge god's townies knowledge i got you food i can give you all the food theory behind got it, everything got it. Beautiful, like, beautiful. that's not the kind of baked that i get but <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, aside, aside obviously from aside obviously from 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 halo halo you also have like again very standard asian fare you have garlic noodles stir fry um samosa soups etc right some of this is already in the game um but but there's a lot of interesting uh food stuff uh in the game that that, have, that has been really interesting i have a theory though that i want to talk about for rent and i know that you guys are probably going to think i'm crazy now are you all familiar that the Sims team introduces one mystery item into every pack to indicate the future ones? Okay. Is so that's like a, a, a Taylor Swift Easter egg thing. At, yes. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, so they do that every single expansion pack or stuff pack or anything like that. They put one item in that's supposed to say, this is an indication of where we're going next time. And in fact, there's a website that wow, I know. Them and I'll be able to find them for you. But here's the thing. Okay. In for rent, when you go to look at the items that are available in Build Buy, there is a car. Okay, it is. It is a now again. It might just be set dressing because it's meant to be. Um, what do you, what do you call what do you call? Um, it's it's very it's it's Asian in particular. Um, like the little the little like like small half cars that that people drive around. I, I forget what they're actually like called. Maybe I'm I'm losing my. You're not losing here. your mind. That's it. That is a thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, I can't remember what they're I don't know what either. they're There's called. Cars. I, I'm not yeah. going to sit here and pretend to make up a name. I have no idea. <laughs> Got it. Smart Got car? it. Yeah. So say that, again. say that again. You say smart car. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. No, it's, not a smart car. it's not a smart car, but I do appreciate the confidence. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, so, um, yeah, it, it, in the game, if, if you, if you look for it, it's actually right. It's actually right here. Uh, the Tomerang Tuk Tuk right here. Okay. So it's, it's again, it might just be set dressing. Okay. So I'm trying to get to a place where you could probably see it. I can't place it anywhere, but it is a, a car. Okay. Now, is it just set dressing or is it indicative that the Sims team is working on a car expansion? I don't know, but I'm kind of thinking that it might be kind of thinking that it might be oh that's crazy yeah. like something transportation wise or something <laughs> yeah yeah spiral I mean, staircases spiral staircases no, 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 no. before cars we were having a hard enough time loading the game let's add movable cars in there i'm good wow. you guys don't yeah, miss the cars in the sims work? 3 Gush. no <laughs> And there's awesome CC out there for anybody who wants cars. Mm -hmm, I'm ju mm -hmm. I'm just saying, console players, yeah, this... we love you. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> what? But why? Why? Okay. All right. I mean, spiral staircases, right? Why? So they're so compact. <laughs> Besides the <laughs> ugly ass <laughs> stairs, as a as a former builder, still builder, <laughs> fucking spiral <laughs> stairs. Oh my yeah. god. No, that's you're that's, right. That's the thing I needed. It's it's just because of the ugly ass goddamn stairs that just take up your entire fucking room, yeah. or a nice yeah, little corner yeah. piece. Yeah. Just that's saying. True. Yeah. And that castles. Nice. Can you imagine how much more fun castles would be instead of having to put goddamn <laughs> ladders oh, on the outside? Yeah. <laughs> oh my heart. <laughs> so very passionate there. Exactly. Very passionate. Would you Would you be okay with staircases if? Uh, you like walked up to it and then you had a load screen to get up to the second floor. Oh my God. Dude. No. Horrible. <laughs> like game already takes an hour to load. Let's not yeah. add any more additional things like cars, mm-hmm. movable cars. I just can't wait for then cars to just like drive in to your lot and by mistake or just like hanging out halfway through. <laughs> yeah. So. I mean, it's, 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 it's definitely, it's definitely a different game from the Sims three. Um, But again, like, there's some people who say this will be the final expansion before Project Renee, so I honestly I don't know. Well, we no, there's no way Project Renee is gonna go tit to tat with uh, Grand Theft Auto Six. Like right, right, it, it's literally gonna oh, be yeah. 2025 right. Christmas Project right. Renee versus G- right. GTA Six. That's true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah. As as far as far as uh for rent uh is, is concerned. Uh. So we talked about townies. We talked about that, but we haven't talked about the Kaz. So why don't we go look at Kaz for a minute, right? Um. So, as y'all know, I'm not the the best sim creator. Like I don't make good sims. I don't make. I'm not. I'm not a fan of it. Right. Uh. But the outfits are actually really really nice. Okay. And and again, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have a hot take here, y'all. Um, but it is disappointing how little options there are for the masculine body than there uh, is for the feminine. Well, body. no shit. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, as someone who has a hard time dressing men in the Sims, no shit. Yeah, yeah. It, it like the options are so diverse and incredible for, um, for the the feminine form, but the masculine form just has almost nothing, which is which is unfortunate. But uh, fortunate. It, <laughs> they know their audience. Well. Yeah, 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 their audience. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely true. That's absolutely true. Um, so yeah, they they have a couple of things that really stood out that that I feel has multiple uses. Uh, so to give you an example, um, if you've ever pictured like your quintessential suburban mom, the uh, yeah they have that now. <laughs> they have that. Now. Oh, <laughs> nice. <my God. laughs> that's the Karen outfit. That's the Karen outfit. Yeah, exactly. It's so it's so Karen. Uh, so so basically, uh, you could just imagine it's like uh, khakis that you have riding up as high as possible, and then like the over the 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 t shirt that's just too big riding on top of you. Um, it it's it's just really it's it, I don't not a fan of it, but honestly, it's it, it has its it has its looks. I don't um, appreciate you dissing my fashion sense. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I've seen Ouch. your fashion. It's way better. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one of the other things that they did, uh, we didn't mention it actually, but they introduced a new career in For Rent. Uh, oh. It's actually called oh, uh, no. Handyman, right? It is different from nice. the engineering one. Um, it is a part-time job in which your whole job is to basically repair things. And that came with a outfit that you can wear normally. And I will tell you, the outfit has more uses than handyman. Tell me, tell me that's not like a black widow, like oh, hundred <laughs> percent. Like, like just you're you're like you're like going out there to fight. So it's it's basically like like tight pants, you know, boots, you have like a little utility belt. Uh it it, it very much is like your adventure Indiana Jones kind of kind of thing and, and it's that cute I, <laughs> I, I like it a lot though like it comes in in different colors and everything and it has it has its uses um again you have a lot of uh, very uh uh asian in- inspired uh dresses um they have they have finally the the what, what uh, ladies what would you call this it's like the, the shirt t-shirt dress, dress. The, t-shirt, the t-shirt dress t-shirt dress <laughs> it's 100 percent the t-shirt dress that we see at winners that it's always there no matter what season you're in and it's kelvin klein <laughs> exactly exactly and that that's exactly what what they've instituted uh so so every everyone's sport fit is going to be that moving forward I'm, I'm certain of it whenever they go play tennis or whatever you want right 
Um, but but no, it, it they that's probably one of the things that that stands out. Um, I will say, uh, for those of you who who like very cute things like me, uh, they actually have like a cute like little like I, again I don't know what it's called because I'm bad with clothing. Uh, so a crop top, a crop top crop, and skirt. Yeah, uh, thank you. Again, I don't know these things. I'm not versed in these. Yeah. Why you keep us around? We keep you in exactly. check for crop tops exactly. and skirts. And exactly. T-shirt dress. Well, I know, go. right? I finally got to talk on one of these. Exactly. But aren't but aren't they cute? Nice. Though? Aren't yeah, they cute? They're like they're it, cute. It, it, I I like I like the the style of it. Um, but yeah. Um, that that's obviously the the full clothing. Um, if if you were to if we were to talk about like the hairstyles and everything. Uh, they have some interesting, uh, some interesting styles that that we should that we should chat about real quick. Are there any new male haircuts? That's actually a good question. We could take a or look at beards. That. And oh, was there man. any children's clothing? Yes, there is actually. Okay. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Yeah, we we could. I'm hoping for some more haircuts and beards for the males, uh, Sims me, or whatever. You know what? Me, me too, honestly. But yeah, if so, if we let's let's remove that. So so we can take a look at some of it. Um. So yeah. So they they have like a brand new fade. Right in in the game for for uh, again masculine. That's a nice fade, right? Yeah, it is. Love it's a nice that. fade. Uh, we have my haircut. That is that your is haircut. your haircut. Oh my god! <laughs> they instituted it for me, oh, everyone. Yeah, that is, is officially the my name is Gon's haircut. A branded sponsored by me. There you go. <laughs> That's awesome. And they got the cringe tray for nerd. We're good. <laughs> exactly. Oh, exactly. I exactly. know, yeah, right? Uh, yeah. And they also have the hair flip uh, as well. Again, I'm not good with words, uh, but uh, that that again that those are um, those are specifically masculine haircuts. Um, this is the hair that T Ling has. Um, the, the, yeah. So you cannot control the highlight. The highlight is tied to the, uh, root hair color. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, but, but, but there is a haircut that has, uh, highlights at, at, uh, on, on the, the bottom of it or inside, I guess. Um, they have like really nice curls as well, uh, in the game. Um, and, and I think probably the, the, the one that I liked the most out of all of them was actually this, uh, double, uh, this double um braid, I I braid ponytail yeah. pigtail yeah. kind of vibe. yeah exactly I, I i like that i like that one a lot there's also straight hair uh for people who want like very like basic straight hair as well um like but that. yeah yeah it's cute um yeah but those yeah those are kind of the the main things as far as beards are concerned um we'll just do a quick little check and, and find out if they do huh let's see do, do this, this, yeah. Shoot, I hope they got my beard where it only grow in in certain parts, you know? <laughs> oh, God, I feel that. They need I to represent that. me, too, you know? Um, Gotta be, represent I, me. I'm being a dummy. I'm trying to find where, like, the actual hair, like, face hair is. Okay, um, correct me we, if we I'm wrong. We understand you don't rock with the cast. Like, yes. so. Because this is a feminine sim, do feminine sims have beards? Please don't come for me. I have no that, idea. That oh, would... no, I think you're right. I think that that's what it is. Really? Okay. I'm just, no, I'm just saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. All right, no, all right, all right. You can take the feminine that's... part and exit out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll yeah go, there's I'll another thing the sim could fix. <laughs> yeah. I'll go build I'll go build a sim real quick and we can take a look at it. Because I'm actually yeah. really curious about it. But a good shortcut for that, too, is when you're in the filter system, you can exit out um, the feminine part and then just have it where it's just no filter for masculine and feminine. And you can see all the hairstyles and builds for that specific sim. It's true. Which is cool, I, too. Yeah, it's true. But I don't think it, it appears unless you're actually you said as 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 masculine. All right. So oh. facial hair. Facial what hair. All right. So there's just the one. <laughs> it's very light <laughs> so it's 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 like a chin strap uh uh ah! beard and then oh like the God. littlest of stubble it's like teenager kind yeah. Of <laughs> yeah oh no that's what like I all like of the guys into high school would look like yeah 100 percent. this is an ontario uh, this is someone from canada literally high school every- beard <laughs> yeah. it's giving me shaggy vibes from scooby doo yeah, yeah. exactly exactly <laughs> So uh, as we had chatted about, uh, for rent literally has no full body um, masculine um, outfits at all, uh, just sure. like the just like the handyman one, right? Uh, they they do have some they do have some stuff uh, for like single use or whatever, but again, nothing really that stands out as being particularly uh, interesting, right? Just shirts, jackets, 
Honestly, yeah, those could have been in any pack. Exactly. To be, to be honest with you. Exactly. No, a hundred, a hundred percent. There's, there's no influence there of anything that stands out, right? Uh, so we talked about children, right? A clothing, clothing for children. Um. So, uh, yeah, the boys do have some stuff that we can take a look at. Um, so we have like this really cute um tank top over shirt kind of thing with the little, the little, the little That's elephant. Cute which I think is That's adorable. Like um, yeah. And, and they have, again, just a couple shirts or anything like that. Um, for uh, feminine, we have uh, this uh, very sort of Asian styled uh, shirt that I, I liked a lot. Um, as far as full body, they also have these little dresses, which I thought were nice. So so they basically just have little dresses with pockets, right? Um, they had like black dresses with... Uh, with uh, designs on on the on the edges and everything like that, um, but nothing really that that stood out significantly. Um, but then there's little things for them. Really. What about children's hair? Just oh curious. goodness, children's hair! I wonder what they have, huh? Oh, I'm just, I'm just speaking out for all the cast out there. <laughs> Being like, hey, because okay, children so, always so, get forgotten about. Yeah, so they do have it. They do have it. So so okay. they they have. They have the bob and the bob with the highlights um, uh, like from, has, from earlier. Yeah. Exactly. Um, they have the the braids that we mentioned earlier. And they also have my haircut in the game <laughs> for, for little kids as well. Uh, they have the bowl cut. <laughs> like, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I cut when I cut my own hair at like four. <laughs> you cut so your like, own yeah. hair at four? Yeah, I gave myself bangs and then like the fringe type bangs up at the top of your oh head. So I, I wanted to talk about this one that I that I forgot to mention. Uh, they do have the, these really cute little um, bows or whatever you want to call them, buns in, in the game now for for adults and children. Uh, I I just think they're I just think they're kind of adorable, which I think they like. They they're just little little bones bu buns with the little bangs or whatever. I thought those were really cute. So I like them a lot. Um, Aww, yeah. You're cute. Oh. <laughs> and they also have the uh, they also have the the cringe trait, right? Nard's trait. Yeah. Right. Uh, so oh, yeah, you can now be cringe. And, that's and, me. And, oh, and cringe basically God. means that you that you that you hit the dab, right? <laughs> that's all. That's all you basically do. He's a dead big dab. <laughs> exactly. You just you that dab. Yeah. Exactly. Just just dabbing non nonstop. Uh, they that's also. Nice. They also introduced the um the very uh the very uh surprising wise trait for elders. It's a trait that only elders can get, which nice. is wise. Yeah, yeah. It's it's very uh it's very uh, interesting that they added that. Um, they also added and correct me if I'm wrong, please, but I think they added insider or or has that always been in the case? I, that might have always been in there. Honestly, no, wait, but... insider's always been. Okay, insider's always been. In. Got it. Got it. Yeah, um, since Windenberg. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, generous. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yes, generous. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, those those are said, and obviously that they have aspirations for um discerning dweller, which is basically you want to be the perfect tenant, uh within there. Uh, so that's kind of uh again that's kind of uh an aspect of of uh the cas that's been uh updated there. Um, but yeah, there's a couple of cool little things in here uh, within uh, within for rent that you get. I I and this is kind of what what I what I was saying in, in my review is that um, yeah, you have a lot of cool things in cats. You have a lot of stuff in the the build by. You have a very like Southeast Asian inspired um, uh, you know theme for everything. But at the end of the day, what you're really going to be getting for rent for that was a weird sentence to say. Uh, what you're getting for rent for uh, is for the um, the property ownership system and tomering. That's really at the end of the day what what the the, the where your money is going to go to for that, right? Um, so so really, it's it's what I what I tell what I tell everybody is is if you want to own property or if you want to have multi home lots, then for rent is going to be for you, right? Um, if you're not interested in that, then maybe it's not for you. Maybe, maybe you get another pack, right? So would you buy this game, guys? Oh, oh, absolutely. Would you buy it? No, absolutely, I would buy it. I, 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 I'll have bought it five times by now. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, it's honestly, it's honestly, again, simply, I, I don't care about being a landlord. I care about having multi-home lots, mm -hmm. right? That, that's really, that's my big thing, is being able to have a bunch of people in the same lot 
without having to travel to all the different lots just to do things yeah. together. Right. Yeah. That's cool. the main, yeah. That's the main thing for me. Uh, and also Tamarang. I mean, Tamarang is just a beautiful place to build, you know, um, like I really like Sulani. Right. But I do dislike the fact that Sulani is very like, um, you know, very like beach themed everywhere you go. It's like, like almost like a party, like a resort. Right. And yeah. as much as I like Sulani, I, I get that impression and I feel kind of off. Like it doesn't feel like home to me. Right. Mm -hmm. But Tamarang has that feeling of like you're in a home you're not in a resort you're not in like a anything like that you are very much in uh a unique world uh that that feels like it it's it's being lived in properly right so yeah. it's it's really i like it and a lot. branched out right which was yeah. nice too because you know we have a lot of european style looking places and then americanized looking places so it's mm -hmm. nice to um very switch it up for sure yeah agreed Agreed, hundred percent. Ah, oh, so good. <laughs> was there anything? Was there anything else? Anything else we wanted to add? I, I, our fun. Any I final know. thoughts, opinions, and concerns? Yeah, I, I think I think the 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 one thing I would suggest for everybody uh, who's listening um, is approach the the pack like you would with anything else, right? Um, very often in the conversation when it comes to like these expansion packs, when it comes to, oh, should you buy it or whatever, people complain about, oh, they EA should fix their bugs first before they make new packs, right? Like they get more focused on what EA should be doing rather than than what they're doing, right? right. And and what I often say is like, look, can things be better? Absolutely, right? Can, can things be improved on? Yes. Do they sometimes move in a direction that perhaps you wouldn't move in? Yes, of course, right? But that doesn't stop the team of individuals who worked on this from having like the passion and the drive that they did to build something like this to come to life. You know what I mean? Um, so if you want to see the creative efforts of a large group of people, then enjoy it. Continue to have your criticism. It's very valid. But take this for what it is. If you want to invest in it, by all means. If you don't want to invest in it, you're, you're free to do so as well. But uh, don't ignore it just because you disagree with the fact that it exists at all right like i guess yeah. that's 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 my feedback on it okay yeah, can well, i add something too oh go ahead go ahead stuff i was gonna say i think that's really good feedback something um i only saw one simmer do it and i love my girl tattooed simmer she may she is making a retirement community with this law everyone's making apartments right now everyone's how many how many apartments can we fit in? Love you, Alex, who made 99 apartments. I love my, that. But my girl tattoo is going out there making retirement communities. I'm very happy to see that that's now an option that we can have in this game. Yes. Of having yeah. yes. a more of a retirement community for our elders. I will never stop fighting for better elders in this. Instance. No, absolutely. No, 100%. Yeah. 100%. And I, and I think that, that, that again, it, these are all opportunities for individuals to um, be able to, to use their mind in creative ways, you know, build new creative ways to do things. And I think it's, I think it's fantastic. And this app will also help with like the other worlds too, like city yes. living, obviously it helps. Um, but not only that, like talking about the retirement home, like that's great for San Sequoia. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, that was a, big part of what that pack was so yeah i'm i'm excited to get it as well i haven't got it yet i will get it though but absolutely yeah what were you gonna say, were you gonna say nerd oh, oh i just wanted to add on to like you know the pack giving out a little bit more gameplay for those who just always seeking gameplay whether it's family style gameplay and as you guys mentioned creating nursing homes and stuff and i think another addition would be also like student housing, you know, and okay. stuff like that. So, so I think just all that plus whatever, the, all the other additional stuff with, you know, being a property manager, if you don't want to do the property manager thing, just even just having apartments that you can kind of build yourself. I think it just add all to the whole gameplay element yeah. that, that sometimes could be lacking. I think this, hopefully a lot of people will appreciate that the pack has given us a lot more opportunity to explore with gameplay. I couldn't agree more. Can you have more than eight Sims on a lot? Because there, there yes. are so many. You, know, you, yes. can, you can. You can. Yeah, so you can. Mm -hmm. So How many so can you have? Yeah, so currently, uh, by default, without cheats, okay? 
you can have six households with a maximum of eight per household. Oh, okay. shoot. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. That's so going to change have, up. So, yeah. So, you can have 64 Sims on, on a lot without cheats, right? Uh, mm -hmm. The Sims officially oh. has, yeah, the Sims has actually officially told us that you can actually run a, a cheat code to set that limit to 99 units. So, you can have 99 units on a single lot with eight Sims each. So yeah, you can that's actually crazy. go absurd with it if you wanted to. Yeah. That's cool. But nobody, nobody's uh computer is gonna be able to handle that for sure. <laughs> you no, you just right. challenged Alex. He's gonna yeah. do that. Love you. So he did actually he did. He did. Yeah, uh, he built the 99. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> no, it's it it is crazy. But but yeah, I mean uh, another another thing that you can do actually is um uh not to take up too much time, but I have a I have a decades challenge that I've been doing on my stream. And one of the things that I did is I took the air of that decades challenge and I sent it to boarding school, right? So now you can actually build functional boarding schools where That's you dope. have like, you know, children in each of their own little home. You can build Hogwarts if you want to. You can, you oh can absolutely God. have your own little Hogwarts with your, totally. with your different units and everything That's like cool. that. So I think that that's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> that is very cool. Well, Gons, thank you so much for coming here today and sharing <laughs> uh, the new expansion pack. It looks really excited. I cannot wait to... Uh, get into it and thank you again for gifting it to me i very oh, do course. appreciate it that will Aww. be my christmas downtime <laughs> getting... hey, where's mine man <laughs> where's my gift exactly yeah, send y'all everything <laughs> well thank you thank you again um let's let's do a quick wrap up gone where can we find you sure absolutely so i am on youtube tiktok and twitch as my name is gone i'm also on instagram as my name is gone um, I am, of course, uh, an EA uh, partner, uh, content creator. Um, yeah. and, yep, yep. And uh, yeah, you can you can find me there. Um, you can find me on Discord as my name is Gons as well. So I'm I'm very brand friend brand friendly. So you can, you can find me uh, and uh, say hi and yeah, follow my stuff. I like that. Okay, I got a question for you. We talked yes, about this yes. before you became an EA game yeah. changer. Yeah. How did it feel to have the pack beforehand that you weren't rushing out content today to try to miss? Like yeah, honestly, honestly, it, it was it was so it was so fun. Um, so uh, without getting too into it, the uh, and I remember I was telling Court this entire time. Uh, the, so we were supposed to get the codes two days early, and we were supposed to get it at, at a certain time, right? And that deadline was missed, right? So it was interesting to be on like uh, on a on a channel in Discord of like all the names that you've heard of, just being like, oh my god, where are the codes? I need to make content. Like just <laughs> everyone just like losing their mind about it or whatever. But uh, it it was it was we were all kind of on the same on the same page. But having it early, being able to generate the content beforehand, uh, being able to 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 be the first one out uh, with stuff like that, honestly, has been uh, has been really really helpful, right? Um, but I, I think the the thing that we have to consider, right, uh, is that we do have to generate content, right? So there's also that responsibility of like, you got to get something out because you're not getting things for free. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. yeah, there's things to consider. I got you. Disney. <laughs> well, God, thank you for coming. And Disney, where can we find you, girl? Uh, Simstagram at Disney Sim at the Disney Sims and at Towny Tales, where I tell my little comic book style stories. And you can download my Disney princes or princesses on EA at the Disney Sims. I love that. Nard, welcome home. <laughs> I'm home. I'm home. I was on the road for three hours. It was crazy. I'm glad, I'm glad you, you are alive. Um, I'm alive. You're alive. Um, <laughs> or grim reaper <laughs> we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't have to pray for the grim reaper to you know spare know. your life nard where can we find I made you it. uh you can find me on uh instagram nard sims uh twitch youtube um only sims uh as in tiktok and youtube as i already said that as nard villain and uh i'm actually celebrating my three-year anniversary on december 14th so <laughs> i'm hoping um, yeah, I'm hoping to do a three-year anniversary stream and hopefully launch in some merch. So we got a lot of big things happening in December for me. So that is so, exciting. Yeah. I need a cake sweater. <laughs> you already know. You already yeah. know. 
Well, congratulations on almost Thanks. hitting the three-year mark. I'm so proud of you. I've watched Thank you grow you. this year. It's only been this year since we've been friends. I feel I like know, I've known right? you like forever. Forever. I know. It's crazy. It's um, crazy. Well, Gons, Disney, Nar, thank you so much for coming here today. I love our our little mini series. Not do I don't love them. The community loves them. So we will continue to do these until you guys don't like us anymore. But I want to thank you guys for coming here today and sharing your knowledge and just being really excited about this expansion pack. Uh, please go follow. My name is Gons, Disney Sims, and Nard Villain. If you'd like to follow me, please do. Uh, I am on Patreon. Um, I am also on any podcast streaming service um if you like what i do maybe uh consider voting for me in the simmer awards for best sims podcast i'm hoping to win two years in a row that'd be really awesome um i have a youth story on uh instagram called the rose chronicles please go check that out uh, i play amy in the reaper which will have a new episode out really soon so go take a look at that and uh no no was not paid to plug this but if you have a giant legacy family and you are looking for something to keep your family in track please go check out the sims legacy hub my really dear best friend uh the awful gamer is behind it and so specific creative please 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 go check them out it is an absolute amazing platform and love love that platform for any legacy storyteller out there it's, i've been having so much fun with it on rose chronicles it's actually inspired me to write for the first time in months so please 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 go check that out and more importantly please go check out my name is gons the disney sims and nard villain and it has been an absolute pleasure to guys have a great rest of your night <laughs> bye, bye. Okay.